Earlier in Taiwan, rearing livestock was not an industry. It was a backyard feeding of farm animals, using pigs and poultry as scavengers, and using them as an animal protein source for the farm family. At that time, our forefathers practiced an animal husbandry that wisely managed the natural resources. They produced crops as main food and fed farm animals with farm leftovers. Animal excrement in turn became organic fertilizer. That is an energy recycling system. When the Japanese ruled Taiwan, it introduced a modern feeding system and breeding programs which led to a further development of animal husbandry. These approaches laid a solid foundation for later development of farm animal production. After World War II, restoration efforts can be found in the livestock industries. Food production, including farm animal raising, was a major effort of the government. Within only a few years, the livestock production in Taiwan has achieved a great improvement. Reforms and innovation efforts have never stopped or slowed. The U.S. support included grain aid for livestock, which facilitated the development of the feed industry. With advanced nutrition research, the livestock industry expanded its scale and became intensive. Sophisticated technologies and facilities gradually replaced traditional methods and saved much time and manpower. Moreover, the advancement of breeding and insemination technologies introduced superior overseas lines into the local livestock population to improve performance. Poultry and livestock alike grew faster with better meat quality or higher laying rate. The change of duck down opened a brand new path for byproduct exports. As livestock production intensified, it could not only satisfy domestic demands, but also had more to seek markets abroad. Taiwan started exporting livestock products at that time. In 1996, Taiwan exported over 200,000 tons of pork, and the production value was larger than that of rice. Taiwan's pork had a 52% market share in Japan. It was a memorable page in Taiwan's livestock industry history. In addition to pork, Taiwan's duck eggs and duck meat production ranked as the sixth and seventh largest in the world, respectively. Turning black down into white and improved processing technologies also allowed Taiwan to become the largest down processing area in the world. As promising as Taiwan's livestock industry is, challenges kept coming. The 1997 foot and mouth disease hit Taiwan's pig farming industry severely. The decisive response of the authorities controlled the disease from further outbreak. Production was resumed in a short time. Confidence for the market was restored as soon as possible. The disease reminded us to pay the deserved attention to the threats of animal diseases and their spreading. Taiwan entered the World Trade Organization in 2002. It was a challenge for the local industry to compete with imported products. It forced Taiwan's livestock industry to expedite its upgrades and improve its product quality and production efficiency. The 2009 Moorcott Typhoon brought unprecedented disaster. Disaster relief efforts and the counseling provided by the Council of Agricultural Affairs assist the livestock industry to rebuild in the shortest time possible. Professional service teams took the rebuild opportunity to bring new facilities and feeding methods into a wide range of farms. Taiwan's livestock industry passed challenge after challenge and made several breakthroughs and marches forward with pride. At the core of one trade are the most difficult parts of the work. That, however, is the only place for one industry to shine. A hundred years. Let us remember the glories and accomplishments of the livestock industry. It is a reminder that we should continue our efforts and brace the following centuries.